Hi everyone, welcome. <laughs> Hi family. This is an interesting intro, isn't it? I'm just using this foundation on my face. I'm kind of filming this makeup look tutorial, but I stopped filming that because I want to try some new products. And today I'm going to try this Revolution Bake and Blot powders. I have three shades. I have lace, I have translucent, and I have banana-like. I want to try all of them on my face today and see how I can use them to touch up during the day and how they are going to look after whole day wear test or whole day I'm going to have a wear test and uh, I'm kind of saving some time because I have to go somewhere soon and this is why you have this very interesting intro if you want to see me using these powders on my face and see the shades and see how they are look well, looking how they perform on my skin, that it's combo skin. So then uh, subscribe, <laughs> keep on watching. And I hope you'll find this video very interesting. So I did went with one layer of this foundation and I'm going to go in to the concealer from Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define in shade C6. And we are going to try this on my face. I'm going to try to set my face, set my face, set my makeup. And I'm going to try to bake. If you're interested to see this makeup look and what palette it is, I'm going to put link up here right now so you can watch that video. I'm liking this shade that I have on my lid today. Okay, so I need to set this everything. I have three shades from uh, this product. I've been setting my face or setting my makeup. Set I've been setting my makeup with this Revolution Pro powder foundation that that they just released. I'm be loving, loving that one. I just ordered one more to have in my purse and want to have on my makeup desk when I apply my makeup and want to have with me on to work. So let me just open all of these powders. Let's see, I have ba banana powder. This is light banana. I tried their loose banana powder before and the first day they released and that was a little bit too dark for my skin tone. And I lo I've been loving the lace that one is perfect for me so but today i'm going to set my face with this translucent one so let me just watch all of them so this is how they look and i'm going to set my face with the translucent one i'm going to take my fluffy brush and dip into it and set my makeup i hope this doesn't make me look cakey Let me see, it kind of, no, it doesn't look cakey. I've been loving their powders. It, so far it's looking very good on the skin. I want to be able to have one of the powders uh, in my makeup bag or in my bag with me to the work so I can touch up during the day but so far this is looking good the translucent I've been liking that one let me swatch it for you just translucent powder you can't really see it and this is let me swatch lace That's also very light with pink undertone and banana, banana light one. I mean, they look very similar. I don't know if you can see anything, but I want to bake under my eyes or set my under eyes makeup. So I'm going to use the Huda Beauty brush that I've been loving. I'm just taking away the crease. 
And let's put this banana powder. Let's see how this is looking on the eyes. Under the eyes. So I'm taking it with this brush and kind of... Mm, it's... I'm going to remove the excess. Mm, doesn't look bad, though it's not too dark, but it doesn't bright my uh, make it brighter under my eyes. Let's go over to the clean this brush and then go into lace. I'm going to put lace on the other side. There's not much, there is not much fallout. This is lighter, if you can see. It's brightening up my under eyes. Okay, so on this side we have lace and on this side we have banana powder. And I kind of prefer lace, like, but this one is not bad either. Let's just dust this off. I thought this was mirror. Dust the excess off from both sides. So this is how they look. They're not looking bad at all. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to make these sides right now kind of matching because I'm going away. I'm going to take this translucent with me and kind of touch up during the day to see how it's working for that. But on this side, I'm going to go in a little bit with the lace. And on the other side, I'm going to go in So I'm going on with the lace, just with lace, just to bright it up. And the other side, I'm going to take a little bit of the banana powder just to kind of make it matchy matchy. And then I'm going to take the brush that we used for setting the whole face and just without adding more powder, kind of go through everything and just see. I mean, it looks very nice. It doesn't look like I have powder on my skin. It looks very soft, kind of like a nice, nice filter on the skin. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look powdery. I kind of like this. That that is why I love this powdery foundation from Revolution. It kind of gives me also more coverage. So if you want more coverage, at the same time, then use this powdery foundation powder foundation from Revolution if you need more coverage. If you don't want more coverage, you're happy with how your skin looks, then you can use these actually. They give me same feeling. They feel light. They are not looking very, very matte and dull. Not heavy, not making my face look cakey. I like that so far. So I'm liking these a lot. I've been looking for this kind of packaging to take with me to when I go to touch up. The only thing I miss, it's kind of maybe a puff or something to use when I go to the work. And yeah, I'm going to, uh, right now it's, right now it's 11.30 and I'm going to finish my makeup and be right back to kind of uh, do a first check-in. So guys, uh, it didn't take me long, 11.42, I'm going to go with my day. It didn't take me long to finish my makeup look, but I'm going to have the translucent powder with me and do some touch up and I'll tell you guys what I think about these products. And yeah, I'm going to wear this whole day. Right now everything looks, looks very light, very smooth, doesn't look like I have any powder on. I love it, really love that. I'm into that full coverage, but very nice and smooth, not cakey. And we'll see how it's going to work during the day. So I'll see you soon. Hi, family. I'm back. It's late. Uh, around 
it's around 1930. I've been having this makeup for at least maybe eight hours and I didn't touch up because I don't, didn't need to. So let's see if I can touch up now with some powders. I mean, they held up pretty, pretty good. I mean, uh, I do have very oily T-zone, but right now it does look shiny, does look oily, but not too greasy. I don't like when it looks too greasy. My foundation did wear off here and here because I eat hamburger and here. My nose was itching a lot, but otherwise everything and here is too because I held my hands like this. But I'm going to touch up and I'm going to do take lace and see if we can touch up with that under the eyes. And I'm going to use my puff. And I'm kind of sad that there, this product doesn't come with a puff or anything because... That would be good to have it in the packaging. Let's uh, set just one side. And let's take translucent. So let's take the translucent one and set rest half of the face and half the nose. So now you can see this part of my face I did set again or touched up with this product and the other side I didn't touch up. It looks matte, but it doesn't it doesn't look cakey. Right now it looks like I have, have powder on, but it doesn't look bad at all. It doesn't look bad at all. I like this product. This is Didi approved. I like it. Let's do the rest of the face. It does look, uh, I have to say, on this side, it does look heavy. But it doesn't really look that bad. Maybe it goes better on with a brush than with a puff, because with a puff, you just put too much product on. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Mm. Right now, when I went over with the brush, it kind of removed a little bit of the foundation. So don't go with a brush because then you will remove the powder and the powder will remove that greasiness, that product under it. So a puff, it's the way to go because right now when I went over with that brush, just doing like fast swipes, not even hitting hard on my face, it kind of made it look very cakey and powdery. And it's because if you have products and then you have your oils and then you put powder over you just make like a cake on your face and uh, nothing's moving so everything looks okay but if you go with the brush then kind of you kind of move that pro move around the products and it look, doesn't look good so I will, won't go again with the brush though I will definitely use it to touch up with some puff Probably I'll need to buy something like this. I don't really like that this doesn't have a puff because it's supposed to be touch up. Baking blot, like a blotting product. So I think it's very strange that you don't have like a puff because you do get the puff in the foundation that I've been loving to touch up with. And this one is perfect. You have the puff down here in this part of the foundation and I've been loving this to touch up my makeup with. I don't like the puff though, that's not the best puff but I can of course remove and put something else on it. I'm going over with the foundation. Oh, it looks good now with some foundation on. It kind of covered a bit of that bald spot but 
I think uh, these are very nice products if you use them right. That, uh, I don't know, I will definitely use this banana powder. It's not too dark for my skin tone, but it's actually my skin tone. And it doesn't really make my under eyes more bright, because, which is what I like. Maybe when I, uh, during the summer, get some, uh, a little bit of a tan or something. But I like, like these, they are very, very nice. And I've been loving them to set all of my foundation or my makeup because it worked fine today. So I'm very happy for that. So guys, that was everything for this video. I hope you liked this. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I upload three videos a week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And that was everything. I love you all. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.